In the pool, a toy boat motors aimlessly. Rebecca checks on her brother. While Mrs. Summers dismisses additional help, the young girl sneaks by. Outside, Rebecca is trying to retrieve her brother's boat from the pool. Rebecca reaches for the toy boat in the pool as something unseen pulls her underwater. She shouts for help as she struggles in the water. On the surface, a vision of Lucy, Rebecca's mother, can be seen. But from the window, Rebecca can be seen thrashing around violently. Elliot checks on Ray, who insists that he is fine and offers to meet inside. Kay shows Ray and Eve a house, highlighting its amenities and suitability for their needs. Kay comments on Ray's baseball career and suggests using his money for a purchase, while Ray focuses on recovery. Kay talks about an accessible kitchen design she likes, and Kay shows the family the rest of the home. Ray stops Eve while driving, mentions a house, and they look at a for sale sign. Eve talks with Kay, revealing she works in school admin office while completing a degree online in special education. Ray discovers a pool, and Eve recalls learning to swim when pushed into one as a young child by her father. Ray reminisces about his childhood, while the kids shout that they are hungry and want lunch. Ray notices something in the pool, but falls in when he reaches to grab it, triggering a flashback to his days playing baseball. His family rushes to his side as he climbs out of the pool. Dr. Sridhar recommends escalating Ray's diagnosis to secondary progressive MS, while Ray and Eve discuss his condition and physical activities. Ray and Eve discuss finding a low-impact activity for his therapy options with Dr. Sridhar. Ray, in a wheelchair, discusses concerns about housing and his health with Eve in a hospital hallway. Eve expresses her frustration about the constant moving due to Ray's baseball trades. Eve and Ray talk about wanting to settle down, while Ray reminisces about a black bikini. In their new home, Eve can be seen putting handrails on the stairs as Cider crosses the room. Elliot walks into the school with his mother as they talk about his upcoming growth spurt. Ronin invites Izzy to join an event on Friday, insisting it will be fun. Ray offers to help Izzy with swim practice while the family cleans the pool. Ray talks about feeling a sudden strength when Izzy was born during his baseball career. Elliot and Izzy react with concern as Ray inspects his injured hand in the pool. The pool tech reveals a wellhead in the pool. He then goes on to explain the benefits of a spring-fed pool to Eve and Ray. The pool tech hands Eve an invoice after nearly falling into the pool. Ray speaks with the pool technician, finalizing preparations for the next stage of the pool setup. Ray and Elliot chat while Ray focuses on finishing his pool exercises, playfully throwing a coin. Ray and Eve discuss the magical healing powers of her kiss while swimming in the pool. Ray, in the garage, goes through his baseball memorabilia, while in the other room, Eve goes over the family's finances. Eve sees Cider on the side of the pool as she swims, but he runs off. As she swims, Eve sees a vision of Ray and exclaims, You scared me, but it was only her imagination. Eve, appearing distressed and repeatedly uncertain, suggests putting in a pool cover for safety. Elliot insists on finding the missing cat, while Ray expresses uncertainty about its return. Ray, Eve, and Izzy search for the missing cat, Cider, calling out for it around the pool area. Elliot is encouraged to keep trying as Ray coaches him in rolling up a pool cover tightly. Ray encourages Izzy, while Eve reminds her to be considerate towards Elliot about his difficulties. Ray's doctor discusses his substantial health improvement with Eve. Dr. Sridhar informs Eve and Ray that Ray's white tissue is improving, attributing it to their new diet and water therapy. Elliot asks his mother if he can swim, but she says only after he finishes his homework and to check with Ray. Ray asks Elliot to hand over a 25 to him before setting up a camera for his training session. Elliot asks his dad to dive for coins with him. Ray, currently working out, requests one of his coins. Ray instructs Elliot to throw a special coin into the pool and promises to retrieve it. Coins rain down from above and Elliot searches underwater for them. Elliot calls out to Ray, thinking his dad has joined him at the pool. Not seeing Ray, Elliot calls out to Izzy, suspecting her of a prank. Elliot says he is keeping the money and dives underwater. There is a voice calling from the skimmer and Elliot floats over to inspect. Rebecca Summers calls out for help from inside and states she is looking for her mum. Elliot, troubled, gets his mother to accompany him outside. Eve asks if anyone is outside while Elliot discusses Rebecca looking for her mother. Ray and Eve discuss Elliot's past behavior 
and his potential need for friends while preparing food together in the kitchen. Ray and Eve discuss attending his practice and hosting a team cookout to help their kids adjust. Ray and Eve discuss inviting friends to the pool party, emphasizing the Waller family's welcoming nature. At baseball practice, Elliot and Eve discuss fears, with Eve sharing a story about Izzy's kindergarten drop-off anxiety. Coach E introduces Ray Waller to the baseball team and encourages them to perform well. Coach E encourages Ray Waller to step up to the plate and take some swings, as he hasn't in a while. Ray tries to encourage the players while struggling with his own condition. Ray challenges the other player to throw the ball again. Ray instructs the boys during baseball practice, demonstrating how to properly hit a ball. Ray tells Izzy to stay in the house and be in bed by 10, since no sitter is available. Izzy threatens Elliot to keep quiet about the swim team guest. Izzy accuses Ronan of cheating during a game of Marco Polo in the pool. Izzy repeatedly calls Marco while standing in the pool, but only hears silence in response. Izzy calls out to Ronan in the pool as says, I hear you, you're right there, Izzy exclaims. Ronin, you're dead, you're dead, emphasizing his transformation and the danger posed by the water spirit. Ronin asks Izzy if she is okay after she says something grabbed her underwater. Izzy urges Ronin to leave quickly while apologizing since she never told her parents he was coming over. Elliot confronts Izzy, demanding to know what scared him and threatens to tell their parents about his secret. Elliot accuses Izzy of lying about what he saw at the pool, followed by tense exchanges about their situation. Eve welcomes guests into her home, directing them towards Ray in the backyard. Kay brings a rum cake to the Waller's housewarming party and comments that it's not for kids due to the amount of rum used. Ronin tells Eve about Jerry and Mars, and she suggests ask they join practice. Izzy admits Ronin kissed her. Eve and Kay bond over talking about hosting and moving frequently during Ray's playing career. Eve and Kay discuss making the pool party an annual event. Ray interacts with Ty, asks about the pool, and agrees to sign his baseball. Ray and Elliot discuss the situation at the pool and decide to confront the steroid Shrek. Kay and Eve discuss the history of their pool, wondering why it wasn't used for many years. Kay reluctantly tells Eve that she knew about the house's history after they'd moved in. Eve hesitates as Kay mentions the previous owner's discomfort with the pool due to alleged incidents. Kay recalls a story about a tragic drowning while discussing people's superstitions with Eve. Ty is encouraged to continue in his mission, push forward and grab the opponent while others cheer him on. Ray shouts repeatedly as chaos erupts in the pool with urgent attempts to control the situation. Coach E searches frantically for Ty near the pool amidst chaos. Eve desperately administers CPR to Ray, while others call for help and check on Ty. Coach E tells the officer they're not pressing charges, while Eve apologizes. Eve expresses concerns about the pool, while the others debate its safety. Eve and Ray argue about the day's near-drowning incident, while Izzy and Elliot listen silently. Eve tries to help Ray, who is struggling to breathe, while their children, Izzy and Elliot, look on anxiously. Eve apologizes, while Ray, in distress, insists he needs one more time in the pool. Ray lies in bed as Eve stands by, watching him silently. Eve recounts her birth story while speaking to Ray. Eve confides her fears about motherhood and feeling alone to Izzy. Eve reassures Izzy, promising to protect their family from any harm. Eve tells Kay about other disappearances involving the house and insists on knowing more. Eve, nervous and seeking answers, asks if the Summers family lives nearby. Eve Waller introduces herself to Lucy Summers and mentions her family now lives in the house with the pool. Lucy talks to Eve about her son's work, Sudan, and her son helping with the house. Lucy asks Eve about her time living in the house and mentions her son, Tommy. Lucy reveals to Eve that her son's health improved after they moved into the house. Eve expresses concerns about something bad in the water. Eve expresses concern to Lucy about her husband's possible fate, referencing Rebecca. Eve talks about using a wishing well as a child, suggesting some water has magical properties. Eve reflects on the mysterious spring, hinting at its power to grant desires, but with unknown consequences. Lucy explains the well's wish and its deadly consequences to Eve. Eve speaks about Tommy's illness and the water's healing effect, 
asking what happened to Lucy's daughter. Lucy tells Eve about the pool's entity and its demand for sacrifices to heal others. Eve and Lucy discuss love and sacrifice, while Eve reveals Rebecca is still looking for her mother. Eve anxiously questions Lucy as she begins to reveal the pool's dark history. Izzy tells Elliot that their parents are not responding and she will check the garage. Elliot repeatedly calls for cider, hearing a meow from near the pool. Elliot circles the pool with a flashlight, scanning the water for any sign of movement. Elliot kneels by the pool while he repeatedly shouts, Cider. A grotesque figure pops the raft and Elliot falls in, the pool cover extending on its own. Izzy races to the pool, desperately trying to crank the cover open to save her brother. Izzy and Eve struggle with the pool cover crank. Izzy shouts, Dad! Izzy, distraught, tends to her wounded hand before cautiously standing up and moving towards the kitchen. Izzy repeatedly calls out for her father, her voice escalating in urgency and fear. Izzy panics and decides to seek help while Ray insists she should not. Eve attempts to explore an underwater section of the pool using a flashlight. Ray shouts, Marco! in a sick mockery of the water game. Eve urges Ray to stay as she attempts to revive an unconscious Elliot by performing CPR. Ray and Eve argue over saving Elliot, who urgently needs medical help. Ray speaks about Elliot's love for the pool and his enduring presence there. Eve pleads with Ray to fight the entity, controlling him, and return to his family. Eve urges everyone to leave as Elliot regains consciousness, and Ray struggles to follow. Ray and Eve urgently discuss worsening water conditions. Ray walks away, ignoring Izzy's and Elliot's desperate calls for him to stay. Elliot asks where his father is, repeatedly asking if he's okay. Ray reassures Eve and tells her not to look back. In the video, Ray expresses uncertainty about the future, but feels he still has something left. Elliot, Eve, and Izzy stand together, discussing their father and their current situation. Eve and her family look into the empty pool, not wanting anyone else to suffer like they did.